Back in the U.S., it is a big day for President Biden. He is meeting with NATO allies in Washington, but he is also under the microscope right now with more questions about his ability to serve another term. NBC's Peter Alexander has the latest on the race for president. Facing intense scrutiny with no room for error, President Biden is both candidate and commander in chief, welcoming world leaders to Washington with a clear and forceful address Tuesday touting the NATO alliance as more powerful than ever. It's good that we're stronger than ever because this moment in history calls for our collective strength. The president this week juggling dual duties, looking to calm Democratic concerns about his ability to serve while demonstrating strength in front of America's most critical allies, united in their support of Ukraine, announcing deliveries of new air defense systems to fend off Russia's brutal assault. Make no mistake, Ukraine can and will stop Putin. And Vice President Kamala Harris campaigning in Las Vegas, stopping by to visit the U.S. men's Olympic basketball team and reiterating her support for the president. And the past few days have been a reminder that running for president of the United States is never easy. But the one thing we know about our president, Joe Biden, is that he is a fighter. Still amid nagging questions about the president's health overnight, the White House issuing another correction, this time about the visits of a neurologist to the campus. After initially saying none of Dr. Kevin Kennard's visits were connected to the president's care, the press secretary now saying the doctor's January 17th visit was to examine President Biden ahead of his annual physical. All of it more fuel for former President Trump after keeping a largely low profile for the last 11 days, teasing his VP pick with contender Marco Rubio in attendance and issuing this challenge to his rival. Let's do another debate this week so that sleepy Joe Biden can prove to everyone all over the world that he has what it takes to be president. I'm also officially challenging Crooked Joe to an 18-hole golf match, it will be among the most watched sporting events in history. That's Peter Alexander reporting. And there are a growing number of people on the list now of Democrats calling for the president to step mm -hmm. down uh, and not run for another term. We're going to have more on that coming up in about a half an hour. Yeah, a lot more.